going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, June 6, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you're a Hassan Mustafa fan and you've been following the crazy progress that we've seen throughout the entire prep, this is your lucky day because there's a rumor floating around that your guy might be stepping on stage a few weeks sooner than we expected. Initially, the word we heard from Hassan's camp was that he was planning to make his season debut at the Orlando Pro in July. But recently, we heard some rumblings that Hassan and his camp were feeling so confident about where they are right now, they were actually planning to move that date up by a few weeks to have him compete at the Puerto Rico Pro, which is set to go down later this month. The improvements with his conditioning have been well documented at this point, so there's no need to repeat it again. But we can say this, with the improvements that he's made, if he shows up at 100% dialed in, he's going to be at his all-time best. And in a lineup like Puerto Rico, that can be more than enough for him to skate out of there with a huge victory. It's been an interesting year so far in classic physique in the sense that we've seen a few of the newer, younger faces in the division step up to stake their claim as athletes who deserve legitimate consideration as future contenders for the Mr. Olympia title. And depending on who you ask, Marcelo DeAngelis' name might deserve to be lumped into those conversations. Right now, he's a few weeks away from making his pro debut, and the sense you get from people close to his camp down there in Brazil is that they believe he's ready to make a huge impact in this division right from the jump. One of the things that makes Classic Physique so intriguing as a fan is the fact that, well, there seems to be more parity there than we have in any other division on the men's side, which means that we aren't seeing the same names and faces winning shows week after week after week. But if Marcelo really is as good as advertised, then it's only a matter of time before we find out. And since we're already talking about Classic Physique, we might as well go ahead and roll this into a new update from Wesley Vissers, who looks like he's firing on all cylinders right now. According to reports, Wesley and his team are heading into the last phase of his off-season program, and the plan is for him to shift gears into full-scale contest prep mode at some point within the next few weeks. Throughout most of his off-season process, their focus has been on adding quality size and giving his physique more balance from top to bottom which has always been an issue for him since he exploded onto the scene a few years ago. As far as his shape and structure are concerned, we know that he's as genetically gifted as anyone in this division. So if he's made enough progress tying up those loose ends, he's another one that we might need to add to the top five watch list for this year coming into the Olympia. Over the last few years, we've seen and heard a lot from athletes like Chris Bumstead, Keon Pearson, and Terrence Ruffin about how they're planning to retire from competitive bodybuilding at a relatively young age. And with all the tragedy that the industry has experienced recently, it's not hard to understand why. There's more to life than bodybuilding. The reality of competing at the highest level is that it takes a certain toll on your body. And the reason we're bringing this up is because our reigning Mr. Olympia, Big Ramy, went on the record recently to say that he was planning to retire from competitive bodybuilding at the age of 38, which would mean that the next year could potentially be his last time on stage. Now, if he keeps winning titles, and there are some other things that might incentivize him to stick around, obviously, all that could change. We've seen it happen over and over again. So it's not like, well, it would be unprecedented. But it is something that's worth talking about. So I want to leave you guys with this question. Do you think we're going to see Rami retire at the end of 2023, regardless of what happens between now and then? We want to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments below. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. 
And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.